we think that AI is not easy, but India will be uniquely placed because of its history and it will combine DPI and AI to create a whole new way of doing things. Now, since I'm in government, I feel incentives are a crutch. All the policies are enablers, so government can layer out. But who has to drive on it? It's the private sector. I think we need to have the courage and the honesty to say, yes, we are in it for ourselves. And even if it is going against the trend of the world, I will do what I feel is in mind. 85% of all big tech companies and also AI companies are US-based, 5 to 7% China-based, and you, India, and we, European Union, share the rest of the, the business cake. The one thing that constantly is thrown on my face is Africa cannot afford AI. And for me, DeepSeek was that aha moment, that you can do it with no resources at all. I think the Delta as a result of the Data Protection Act would be leased for a financial sector entity for the fact that already there are several laws, regulations and governance structures in place which are impacting the sector today. I expect the BTA will be done sooner th rather than later and that will be a first for India. What we have to get over is serial disruption. The EU Commission uh, yesterday announced uh, that they want to review the EU AI Act uh, and to see if uh, there are parts of the AI Act that indeed hinder innovation within the European uh, um, Union or worldwide. Uh, so uh, we are open for such a discussion. Uh, the GTS has so far been an excellent uh, event to convene so many experts from various uh, fields, from government, private sector, civil society, researchers and academia. This summit gives you a perspective about what do we think about technology and public policy, which is such a nascent space uh, to even understand that where tech and public policy is, because that is what our minister said that, right? Um, trust and tariffs and technology is something that we'll be looking forward to. Uh, there's nothing like GTS. There's no other event in India or with India that involves such a range of interactions between technology, political, economic, financial people. It's really a unique and special event. I'm really thankful to Carnegie India for inviting us to come here and be a part of a summit like this. Uh, because I think it really adds value to what we have to say as well. I think all the conversations that have taken place um, makes me really hopeful for the future of technology and the people who are working behind it.